Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on deleting directories and subdirectories from a, uh, a folder, because in our forum, uh, one of our users posted a question about how to delete um, multiple directories inside of a directory, because you cannot uh, delete a directory if the files and uh, all the other folders inside of that uh, folder are empty. So. Basically what he's asking is how to delete everything inside of a folder and then delete the folder itself. So um, I'm working in Notepad++, so uh, you can use whatever text editor you would like. And if you're working in Notepad, that's fine. Uh, any will do. So first off, we're going to open and close PHP uh, blocks. And we're going to save it as remove directory.php. And I've already done this file, but I'm going to overwrite it. And we're going to start fresh. So we have our file. And over here in the browser, I just uh, went over to remove directory.php, and we have a clean slate. Just for testing, we're just going to say removing, just to make sure we're in the right directory or file, and we have removing. So we can go ahead and um, continue. Basically, the function, uh, the PHP function to remove a directory, is rmdir, and then in parentheses. Uh, you put the folder that you want to delete. So I'm just going to say folder. Now what this is doing, it is checking uh, where remove directory.php is located in your file system and it is looking for a folder called folder. And as you can see here I have remove directory and if I were to refresh our browser it would say warning. Uh, folder does not exist. So what we need to do is we're going to create a folder called folder. And I'm going to run it again. Hit refresh. And nothing shows up, but if we go back to our file system, it's gone now. So what happens if we have folder again, but it has something inside of it, like a blank text file? Name it 1. And we go and refresh. And it says warning, directory is not empty. So, um, that poses a problem because you cannot delete a directory if it's not empty. So how would we go about doing this? Well, one way we can do this is we're going to create a function called remove folder. And inside of that folder we're going to pass a parameter called, um, we're just going to say folder, if I could type folder. And the first thing we need to do is check to see if the folder name that we are uh, passing in is a directory. So PHP you can use is underscore dir, which stands for is directory, and put uh, your folder name inside there. So if it is a directory and that equals true, we're going to run this code right here. If not, we're not going to do anything. The first thing we need to do after doing uh, checking to see if the folder exists is we're going to get the uh, contents of that folder. So we're going to say um, folder contents is equal to, we're going to use the scan directory function of um, PHP and we're going to pass in our folder value right there. So what's this, this is going to do is it's going to um, get all the contents of the folder and print it, or put them into an array. So what we can do to check is just say print r and we're going to pass in folder contents. Okay, we're going to go back and run this. Well, maybe not. Because I need to be putting the print r um, at the bottom here, because we're, oops, I'm sorry, we're not running my our function here. So at the bottom underneath the function we're just going to call remove uh, folder, and then we're going to pass in the name of our folder which is just folder. And now if we hit refresh, we should have an array 0, 1, 2, and it has the file right here. These first two are standard, and what we want to do is get rid of those. So what we want to do is in between here we're just going to say unset and what this will do is it will unset a key, um, 
a key of the array that you would like. So we're going to say folder contents, which is now an array, and we're going to put the key of 0, and we're going to also do one for 1. As you can see over here, array 0 and 1 are the dot and the two double dots right there. Okay, make sure this is uh, not a period, but a comma. Now if we do that, and we're going to print out refresh, the only one we should get is 2 and then text. So if we were going to add another folder in here, and just call it whatever, new folder is fine, it would bring up new folder there. So how do you determine if a folder is an actual folder, or if the folder is actual, or the array content is actual file? So the next thing you need to do is, we're going to do an if statement, or actually no, we're going to set a, um, um, for each loop, so we can loop through each contents in the array. So we're going to say for each uh, folder contents as um, content, and then we're going to do uh, equal sign and a greater than sign, and then we're going to say content name. Oops. So what this is doing is it's taking each array, say run array 2, key value 2, it's going to set it equal to a variable of content, and then the value of that key is going to be content name. So we're going to get rid of this. And inside our for each loop, we're just going to echo out. Um, we're going to say content, so you can sort of see what that's going on. We're going to append a break tag on here. And so we should get 2 and 3. So we have 2 and 3. Those are the key values. So if we were to change this to content name, you probably guessed it, but you're going to get the uh, value of the key. So this is very important um, because you can use another PHP function called file type. Just like that. And it include or er, and it accepts a parameter. And the parameter is the file itself. So what we need to do is since we are working in this folder, we need to set uh, an actual path to the folder. So we're going to say current path is equal to, we're going to set the default folder that we passed into the function. And then we're going to append a forward slash on there. And then we're going to say what content name we are on. Just like that. And the file type, like I said, uh, takes a path, so we're just going to put current path in there. And what that will do is it will echo out the path. Append a break tag here. It will determine the uh, file type of the path. Oops, variable on line 11, and I forgot a period between the single quote and the dollar sign there. And you can see the first one is a file, and the second one is a directory. So go back over here, and we can use this to our advantage. If you notice, it says file or dir. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, file type is equal to the file type of the current path. And then we're going to do an if statement. We're going to say if the file type file type is equal to dir, then we know that it's a directory. And what we need to do, since there's going to be directories inside of it, we can just use the same function that we're already writing to loop through it again to erase all the contents in there. So um, what you want to do is just call your function again, remove folder, pass in the parameter uh, for the folder, and the folder that's going to be passed in is the current path. Just like that. So what's it, and then else, all we need to do is unlink the file. And you can use the PHP unlink function to, which removes a, a file and not a directory. So current path as well. So we'll go through this. It gets the loops through the array of all the folder contents, and it determines the current path and the file type. And if it's a directory, 
it will run through this whole function again and do the same exact thing for all the directories inside of it. If it's if it reaches um, one of the file types and it's not a directory, it has to be a file, so then it's going to use the unlink function to delete that file. And then at the end of your for each loop, what you need to do is we're going to say um, oops, I'm sorry, after the if statement we're going to use unset which we're doing the same thing up here, but this time we're just going to get rid of the array value that we're looping through just as a precaution. We're going to say folder contents and then the key value will be this content value right there. Okay, and then right after the for each loop we're going to use uh, MR or RMDIR, which is remove directory in PHP, and we're going to remove the current folder that we passed into the function. So let's go ahead and run this, see if we get any errors. Undefined variable folder content. Um, where did I put that? Folder contents, right there. Refresh, and everything shows up, and you go back here and it's gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy a whole bunch of files right here, go back in, create a folder called folder, and I'm just going to paste these all in here. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of files inside of each one of these folders. So if we go back and run our function again, make sure our folder is the one that's being passed on the function. And you can change this name to whatever directory you wanted. So if like on our forum post here, if he has a username uh, with an ID number, you would put users and ID into the function that you want to remove as your folder. So if we go back and refresh, nothing shows up. We go back here and you can see our folder is gone and all of the files and subdirectories are removed as well. So that's about it. Um, let me just clean up this the spacing here for you so I can fit it all on the screen. And I will zoom out so you can see it all if you want to pause. So that's it. That's how you remove a directory and all of its subdirectories and files. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.